OK, so here we have a question about uh, scatter graphs and their interpretation. And so we've got a thing about heights of males and females here. And we've got the data already plotted for us. So a graph given. First thing to do is obviously check the scale, make sure we understand what each little square is worth. So going along the bottom here, we can see there's five little squares for each five centimetres. So each little square is worth one. And the same at the side. So the scale is one centimetre for every little square. Um, what we've got to remember about scatter graphs in GCSE statistics is that you always must plot the mean point of the two variables, uh, the bivariate data. So here they've already given us the mean point, but remember you must calculate it if it's not being given. So we've got 174 and 161.5. So we plot the mean point. And then the next part of the question says, draw the line of best fit through the diagram. So again, scatter graphs, you must always draw your line of best fit going through the mean point. And we try and follow the trend of the data, the correlation. So not necessary to go through other points, but certainly must go through the mean point. So we draw our line of best fit. And we tend to be looking in at the gap between the crosses below at a perpendicular distance and the gap of the ones above. We try and balance it out so it's about even. So let's draw on the line of best fit always through the mean point. And we must always plot the mean point. So the questions go on and it says describe and interpret the correlation. Well, we can see here that as the male height increases, the female height also increases. It's a positive correlation, and quite a strong positive correlation. Uh, if we look at how close the crosses are to the line of best fit, they're fairly close. So when it says describe and interpret the correlation, well, firstly it's a positive correlation. And basically we're going to say, as the male height increases, so does the female height. It increases too. The question then goes on. Um, quite often you're asked to calculate um, the equation of the uh, line of best fit to model the uh, data if it's got a reasonable correlation. Um, so what they've done is they've taken the line of best fit I'll show you on the graph. So they've taken the line of best fit, they've drawn a right angle triangle, and they've joined together sensible points, and they've worked out the gradient of the line. So the gradient is always found by doing the change in the y variables, uh, which some people call the rise and divide by the change in the x variable and some people call that the run so the gradient rise over run and in my example here I've gone from 163 to 184 so that's an increase of 21 along the bottom and we've gone from 170 down to 152 so that's 818 so 18 divided by 21 18 divided by 21 equals 0 0.857 rounded to the nearest one decimal place 0 0.9 so that's where they got the 0 0.9 from and the 5.25 well again if you remember from your y equals mx plus c then we've calculated the gradient as 0 0.9 so we can choose any point, um, probably going to be best to use the mean points because they are calculated values, so we're given those. So 174 and 161.5, so basically we're going to say that 161.5 equals 0 0.9 times 174 plus some value. So 0 0.9 times 174. That needs to be taken away from 161.5. That gives us an answer of about 4.9. Well, they've given us the value of 5.25. So we have to use that equation because that's the one that we've been given from the exam question. But that's how they calculated it. So here we'd have found the C value was 4.9 from that method. 
So that's the method they've used to calculate this equation. So give a practical interpretation of the value of the point 0.9 in the equation. Well, remember what that is, that's the gradient. It's the rate of change. So basically it's saying for every one centimeter increase in male height, female height, increases by 0.9 centimeters. So that's what they're trying to say about um, this equation. Then it talks about the 5.25, so it's saying to, uh, what is that, it doesn't have a practical implication. Well, what we've got to remember is from our uh, models that, again, straight line is uh, the line of best fit on a scatter graph. So we're looking at uh, the C value being the intercept on the y variable axis uh, when x is zero. And that's really important, this is assuming that x is zero. Obviously on this graph um, it only went down to 160, but basically they're assuming it's continued and we've calculated the C value when x is zero. So why doesn't it have any sensible practical implications? Well it's assuming that um, the male height was zero, which uh, we know from nature is uh, not practical. So 5.25 assumes a male height of zero centimeters, not practical. Um, basically then, this is really just confirming our minds that uh, with scatter graphs you've got to be careful that when you've got a scatter graph you really should be interpreting the data between the known extremes and that's called interpolation and when you're extrapolating go beyond your data that's been uh, calculated or found from an experiment then you're not always uh, sure that it's reliable particularly when you get down to the lower end on heights because uh, uh, we can't have a zero height um, use the equation of the line of best fit to work out the estimate for the mean height of the females in a country where the mean height of the males is 190 well basically they're saying to us that our x value is going to be 190 and they're asking us what our y value is so we take the equation they gave us so y equals 0.9x plus 5.25 and we replace the uh, x with 190 uh, put that into our calculator so 0.9 times 190 plus 5.25 equals, so 176.25 centimetres is our estimate for the mean height of the females in the country where the males is 190. Explain why this is likely to be an unreliable, uh, yeah, so again, explain why this is likely to be an unreliable estimate. Well, let's look at the graph and see where the 190 is. Well, the 190 is at the extreme of the graph that's been given and it's beyond the actual data that we've been given. So we're doing what's called extrapolating. So, classic question, explain why this is like to be an unreliable estimate. estimate. Uh, literally we're going to say because we are extrapolating beyond the given data. So the crosses were given, inside would be interpolating, we're going beyond, so we're extrapolating, which is not as reliable as interpolation. So that's a summary of work that you'd be expected to be able to do with scatter graphs.